morning. I have little Miss P here playing. I'm going to make myself some breakfast sandwiches for Steve and I this morning. Um, yeah, we didn't go back to sleep after 7.30, so may as well wake up and make some breakfast. Yummers! We're waiting for the elevator. <laughs> it's gonna be hot today. It's high of 28. It's gonna feel like 37. Not looking forward to that. Nope. No, baby, no. <coughs> Sorry, something was in my mouth. I've been waiting here for a good five minutes for the elevator. I think someone's moving in or moving out. I could hear them moving stuff. But it kind of sucked because it's the only elevator on this side of the building. And the other one right here, as you can see, is out of service. So thank God we left early for that. I don't know if we'll make it on time. So we're about to attend a, a class, a baby and mommy's class. It's uh, it's called Whole Play, and it's for early childhood development and parent service um, and parenting services. And uh, I think the the program just talks about um, healthy developments for your child, uh, what to expect, what you know, all these other information or questions that you may have. Um, what else? And it's like just building, you know, their self-esteem and playing with them and just interacting with your baby. And this is from age group newborn to one years old. They have like different levels too, different level programs. So the first one is like prenatal and then zero to 12 months. And then I think one year to two years old. Let's see how it goes. Pretty excited. And he's getting a tan. So we just got back from the whole play uh, baby session and it was pretty informative actually. The first half an hour is music and play with your baby and you interact with the other mummies and babies. And then the second half is actually um, open to the parents uh, for discussion. The person who runs it will start off with a question and then we'll open up um, and for discussion amongst the parents. Now she's a certified psychologist that uh, works with the Children Mental Health Hospital and she work, worked with them for a while and then she figured like, you know what, everyday parents also need help too. So that's how she derived into this program and that uh, it's open to everyday people, not just because your child has you know, issues or anything, but I'm sure everybody has issues. So yeah. she decided to do that. And um, I, I think it's pretty good actually. Like our class was pretty small. It was supposed to be a, a class of eight. However, only four of us showed up, um, so it was very intimate, very like one-on-one, -on -one, which I do like because a lot of answers will be answered. So every week there will be a topic of discussion that she will send to us, email to us, so at least we could prepare and come to class with any questions that we may have. And yeah, I definitely recommend it for other new moms out there. If you are in Toronto, look them up. It's Whole Play, W H O L E P L A Y dot C A, and see if there's any um, programs near around you. Definitely worth it. Lots of answered. And, like, yeah, like, I learned a lot there too. Like, so many, you know, you're not the only ones that 
have this issue. Apparently, every other mom's have these issues too, and you think you're the only one. So no, it's it's very good. Go check it out. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Is that like too close up, baby? It's close up. So tonight's dinner is seared tenderloin on top of a spinach salad with Asian sesame dressing and a roasted uh, pepper tomato soup. Um, I have Penny sleeping. I think she's sleeping. So I have Penny sleeping right now, so I'm going to take this opportunity to eat dinner while Steve is actually playing hockey today's Wednesday. So he's playing hockey, so I'm not going to wait for him um, because if I do, then it's going to be too late. So I'm going to eat now. Mm -hmm. Yum. Humors. Now, one of the topics that um, came up at the session was frustration. And I've been seeing a lot of that in Miss Penelope in the last few weeks, last two weeks, let's say. Um, and, you know, right now they say, you know, it's easy to just distract them with another thing. So if she's frustrated with one thing, try to distract her with another thing, right? But I don't know, like I didn't know this whole frustration was a huge issue too. Apparently it is. And, and it wasn't me that brought it up actually. It was another mummy that brought it up. Uh, she has, <laughs> she also have a five month old, no, four month, almost the same age as Penny, but he was born um, February 14th so Penny's just two weeks younger and yeah like frustration just temper tantrums not temper tantrums it's just frustrations and I just looked it up right now and apparently it's a huge issue too amongst parents but that was just a, a cute little face guess I was wrong yes distraction is the key right now Dum, 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 dum. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Where's the camera, baby? Where's the camera? Yeah. Boom. Where's the camera? Yeah. <laughs> we just had our bath right now. She's trying to get up and <laughs> sit up. So I have to bundle her up because it's cold. Yeah, had a nice warm bath, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Okay. Someone's so sleepy. Well, not sleepy, but hiccups. You ready for your bedtime, baby? Ready to go to sleep? <laughs> yeah. So relaxed and chill. Yeah. Alright, good night. Mm-hmm.